Massimo yeah. here now. It's pasta salad. Pasta salads. I, I find, you know, that this pasta salads made with the Italian style pasta, you know, the extruded pasta. Ah, it tastes gross. They're too thick. They're not, uh, they're not interesting. They got mayonnaise on top. They got all kinds of stuff. The noodles really are overcooked. Fusilli, penne, whatever. You know what? Eliminate them. You know okay. what? Enough. Enough. Done. You Go know on. what? There is, however, People that have beautiful pasta salads, a Japanese people uh, Thai. and uh, Thai yes. and all that. So there is rice noodles like this one. And now you can find rice noodles, even Italian-made rice noodles, because we do a lot of rice. So you know. Really? Therefore, now I'm starting to getting w warmed up a little bit on pasta salad because I like the taste of rice noodles. I like the bean threads and like all of mm -hmm. that. That uh, the, the different stuff, that the one that I didn't grow up with. And and so therefore, with the rice noodle like this one here, pre-cooked, holds is uh, I'll dent the uh, texture, it holds its texture very well. Do they cook, cook more quickly than uh, traditional no, pasta? No, they actually, the they, they take a little longer. The longer, oh, one. Yeah, this, this are, and, and actually, this one, I brought the packages. This is uh, uh, rice noodles. These are made in Canada, okay? And they're organic, and I have the packages somewhere here. Look, there is these two types. Okay. I mean, all of the other Asian stuff is out there, okay? There yeah. is all kind of Asian uh, noodles, which is fantastic. And, uh, Let's support the and Canadian product. Thing. Let's like support that. the Canadian product. Like uh, fantastic, right? I mean, that, that is all good natural. because uh, also you have gluten-free, you have wheat-free, you have uh, egg-free, all, egg all free, the other things. So, let me get to that. I cooked them and I cooled them and I kept them in cold water because they stick. In, now, hold on a second. You kept them in cold water I, in the I fridge? Cooled them in, I, I cooled them with cold water and I kept them in a little bit of cold water so that they won't stick. Okay. Otherwise, it'd be a mess right. of sticky noodles. Yes. And you don't want that. Okay, no. now, I'm going to put my ingredients in, and I'm not going to put mayonnaise and any of that stuff. So I have some beautiful carrots. If you can find the heirloom carrots, you know, the one multicolored, uh, beautiful, go ahead and enjoy. You have do a lot of ones. farmer's markets to find uh, those, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. And, and you know, the beauty with farmer's market is that everything comes in in, in its time, you know, so it teaches us to eat properly again because we've lost a little bit touch with uh, how it should be done, you know. So where's a good farmer's market nearby <coughs> in downtown Toronto? Well, we actually, as a matter of fact, we have a show coming up uh, that talks about that, and there's a Dufferin Grove market, we have the Brickyard, the Brickworks, the Brickyard, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we have uh, distillery uh, district. the Distillery District, yes. we have one at um, uh, Liberty Village, you know. So is there a yeah. listing place where you can find farmer's market? I believe so, market? on the website, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's a website, I've uh, never been out City here. of Toronto, I think, or something that should have a. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. I'm gonna so that. I'm gonna heat up a pan, okay? And in the summertime, I do all of this stuff on a barbecue. I put my pans in the barbecue. I heat up the barbecue. Use it as an oven. I use it as everything. Really? Anyway, quickly. I don't want to. I don't like the taste of raw. You could actually put a little bit of uh, vinegar or uh, sweet wine vinegar or or, um, or or lemon juice, a little touch of sugar. Uh, here, perfectly fine. But what I want to do is I want to just um, give it a quick sear. That's oh. olive oil, salt, yeah. and pepper, right? Just like that. I want to heat them up so that they will. Oh, olive oil, salt, pepper. I have carrots. I have white peppers, which are beautiful. And, white, uh, white peppers? White peppers, Never yeah. Hungarian white, pepper. white peppers. They're hmm. fantastic. I mean, expensive, but you know what? I'm, I'm eating them. So You're breaking the bank matter. for us, yeah. Massimo, and we exactly. appreciate it. So then I'll put it right in. Okay. Okay. This will cool off eventually again, and will help doing so by adding a little bit of uh, parsley leaves. Okay. Um, we have lime. Oh, onions. Uh, forgot the onions uh, in here, but uh, we will put them in. Lots of lime juice. I want a lot of acidity. I like. I, I don't like when there's no acidity. I, everything falls flat on your tongue, right? And you go like, "What the hell am I eating?" It's also this a, is it's a fun trick you once know. you yeah, serve it up that exactly. you can do that little squidge of exactly. lime over oh, top and it freshens it right pepper. up. Oh, look at that! See, this is like monkeys, huh? <laughs> it's like monkeys. <laughs> it's like the barrel of monkeys. That's right. Monkeys, yeah. That's, it's the kid theme, you know I what I mean? I think he's conquered his fear. Yeah, before. I'm, I'm putting scared. a little bit of this. A jalapeno uh, would be good too in here. Give so. it a, a different, uh, a different uh, flavor. But you know what? Look at what my staff in the kitchen did. Look at how beautifully Julian this is. I would never do it like this at home, okay? No, that would take forever. <laughs> I mean, those guys, I pay them to do this kind of work. And they want to impress you. They <laughs> want to impress, impress you. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So, the beauty of this is that you don't need to have oil in it because you just put a little bit of oil in, in the pan over there to saute the, uh, the pasta, the, 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 the vegetable, right? So, you don't want any more of the, uh, of the greasiness, right? right? So, I have some tomatoes, which I oven dried myself, 
at the restaurant. We take tomatoes, we remove the seeds, we dress them, we put them in the oven. Olive oil, salt, and pepper? Uh, salt, pepper, a touch of sugar. We remove all the sugar. seeds, a yeah. little bit of garlic, thyme. And what and, temperature? Uh, temperature is 220 for about two hours, two and That's a half hours, an on a, on a uh, cooling rack. Oh, okay. You know, the so bakers use the cooling yes, racks. Yes, yes. Okay. But they're so, so sweet, they're like candy. Exactly. If you put them uh, both side up so that all the juices will dry out slowly inside, they'll stay moist and they have a bigger flavor. If you Great. put them like this, all the juices will fall off and, you know. Not so much. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, this is what we do. We do a nice fine julienne or coarse julienne. Julienne means cutting it in strips, just like that. Right. So, anything that is cut in strips becomes julienne automatically. Number one most important thing in the kitchen, sharp knife, right? Oh, sharp knife. Otherwise, you're going to end up using those Nexus uh, band-aids. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ne next care over the band-aids. You are band so good at the tie-in yeah. segue. It's yeah. impressive. You've been is, doing is this for a while, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah. Yes, as novices no, can learn came, from you. <laughs> well, it came to me while I was watching the prom. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Just in case I, Jody burns just, herself. Just in case, yeah. yes. Okay. <laughs> look at this. Me? and you clean up after yourself, too? Oh, you have to. Nobody else will otherwise. <laughs> Got that okay. right, my friend. <clears throat> So, we have these uh, beautiful little forks here. Uh, this one is uh, the cook's best friend because he do perfect oh, portions. It's all about presentation. Like that, yeah. And you just uh, do a nice little messy presentation like that. Very put a little, nice. <laughs> put a little of this on top. Okay, a little of this, a little of that. You know, and then... We'll put a little bit of uh, shrimp. Okay, it's a woman's prerogative to change your mind, right? Oh, yes, it is. I'm having this for dinner. Oh, you are? Yeah. Why don't you have both? Well, then I don't have to have that conversation about the mayonnaise, and I'm not up for it, oh, really. Oh, I know, eh? You, you are, uh, you're tired of that, eh? Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little tired. <laughs> No, this looks okay. right up my alley, so, though. This looks delicious. <clears throat> and a little bit more lime juice on top. Yeah, a little bit of lime juice. You, if you want a little bit more uh, oil, but, you know, I wouldn't. Cold pasta salad. Keep it simple. Yeah. Nice and delicate. The, 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 the rice noodles actually are great because they, you eat them and, and they're very light. You know what I mean? The, the lack of uh, wheat product, gluten, I guess. Eggs, and gluten, eggs, eggs and all that. that. Yeah, right. Keeps it very light. It just goes down. All right. So... Beautiful, nice and crisp, you know what I mean? It's got a nice taste. Uh, there's nothing you can be yep. wrong with this. Everybody at home got their pencils ready because okay. the recipe recap is coming you straight go. at you. Thank you, Massimo. You're very we'll welcome. We'll be back with more Line right after this. this.